Hello there, welcome back and this is Carolyn. On this channel, I teach watercolour landscapes, painting from forests, mountains, beaches and even cityscapes. So if you are new here, do subscribe for more tutorial videos and learn to paint with me. For today's painting, I'll be demonstrating on how to paint this beach landscape. In this painting, I'll be showing you a technique on how to create that soft dreamy background and how to bring your painting to life by adding contrast and details to the foreground, which in this case is the boat. This photo was taken by a friend of mine during her trip to Bali, so I thought this picture would be a good example to illustrate the techniques that I'd like to show you. So we'll be using this picture as our reference. If you'd like to paint along with me in real time, the full tutorial of this video together with the list of materials that I'll be using, reference picture and pencil sketch will all be available on my Patreon. You'll then have access to everything you'll need to start and paint along. If you're interested, I have attached the Patreon link in the description box below. Alright, let's move on. To start off, I'm using a masking fluid to preserve the white areas in the painting. If you do not have a masking fluid, you may opt out this step and only paint in the highlights with white gouache later at the very end. Next, grab a big brush and for my case, I'm using a big 1 inch flat brush. Apply a layer of water onto the entire paper leaving out the boat. And because I'm going for a very soft background effect, we will be painting the skies, mountains, waters and beach all in just one layer. To do this, we will need to work fast and paint in all the colours before the paper dries out. So we will need to prepare and have all our paints ready on the palette. Once the paints are prepared, let's dive in straight to the skies. Drop blue paints onto the pre-wet area like so. Leave out some white spaces to create those clouds. Next, grab some sap green and start painting in the background mountains. And taking the turquoise mixture, paint in the waters. As you can see here that I'm working pretty fast for this layer from top to, bo to bottom. This is to avoid the previous layer of water becoming dry. Otherwise, we won't be able to achieve this soft dreamy effect and end up with harsh brush strokes. Feel free to tilt the paper upwards to let the paints flow down to create a more natural effect. And for a more variety of the waters, paint in some greens to create contrast. And finally, paint in yellow ochre for the beaches. While the previous layer is still wet, add in some darker brown for added textures. And here's my favourite trick. With just water in your brush, tap on your brush to make some splatters to create this salt light effect. And when the first layer is all dry, Let's start working on the boat. Here, I'm using a lighter shade of brown and then slowly build up the shadows with a darker brown. Doing so creates more contrast and depth in the painting. and then repeat the same process for the rest of the boat. Mm -hmm. 
Here I'm not following every single detail from the reference picture because we're not going for a realistic effect but just a rough shape of the object is fine and good enough. And then now I'm adding some lines onto the boat to create textures and details. Be sure to use less watery but a more concentrated mixture when painting the lines. This will help to create strong bold lines that will stand out of the blurry background and bring added depth to the painting. And for the final step, remove the masking fluid. And pin in shadows in the white areas. For the shadow of the boat, I'm using a very light wash of dark color. Here I'm using paints gray. I'm painting in the shadow while closely following the shape from the reference picture. And that's all for today's demonstration. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do like, subscribe and turn on that bell button so you won't miss out any of my future videos. Till then and I'll see you in the next video.